hope that this looks sporty and not odd but I'm not sporty so of course it's gonna look odd and we're off to a great start Hello humans! Welcome to Fangirl Friday where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. My sleeves are falling down already. This is not good. Just, oh it's great. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how to wear sports things. Today I am going to be reviewing The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by Bertie Sue and Kate Rorick. I wasn't sure if there was a K there. There's not a K there. It's Rorick. That's a cool surname. Good job Kate. Kate's parents. Kate's husband. Kate's kin. Let's go with that. So The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet. Um, I was so keen to read this. I can't even tell you because this is actually like the canon um, behind the scenes journal really of a character in a web series called The Lizzie Bennet Diaries which was produced by Bernie Sue and Hank Green and uh, the company company of Pembley Digital. I got onto that bandwagon of The Lizzie Bennet Diaries web series back last year. I think we might have been about 30 episodes in. So I came in about episode 30, um, and then I was just with it to the end of the line, and the end, oh, it was a long line. It was, it was really excellent. Excellent quality. It's won an Emmy, this web series. I just, I can't even, I love it so much. I've watched the series like five times. I just, I always constantly rewatch. So I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description. You definitely need to go watch that. But I'm talking about this today. This is what I'm talking about today. So I have this book and it's from my school library and first things first, I'm the realist, something something, whole world fitness, yeah, Merchant of Venice, given lessons in physics. I am Iggy Azalea, obviously. But seriously, the first thing that I thought when I saw this book in my library was, why is this here? I don't understand. I kind of had a bit of a freak out um, and of course my whole grade was in the library at that stage. They were all like, Bella, why are you having a mental breakdown on the floor? It was a Monday morning though, so they could have just attributed to that, hopefully. Because let's just be clear, I go to a Christian school, and because of that, the school library is quite conservative. And that's not a bad thing, but I was just super shocked to find this, because this is not the kind of book I would expect them to have there. I don't even understand how they knew this existed. Unless they, whoa, oh, maybe they watched that. I'm sorry for doubting you, Mrs. Swanson. The librarian at my school subscribed to me on this channel. I have to be careful what I say. But basically, I loved this book. It's um the main character's diary, and it was amazing to read through it and to catch all the references to the videos, but then see things that weren't in the videos, and it kind of just gave this whole other depth to this web series that I'm in love with. Like it kind of just added this whole other layer and I was like, I understand the web series so much better now. Basically, The Lizzie Bennet Diaries is a modern adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. Um, it was done in web series and it follows Lizzie Bennet, who is doing a YouTube channel for her degree in mass communication, which basically means she's studying unemployment. Haha, uh, quoted, quoting things. And it kind of just progresses from there and then you have William Darcy and he comes in and George Wickham, he's there and um, Bing Lee, he's there, well, Bing... I think his name's Charles in the book. Charles Bing. Bing Charles. I don't know. Bing is in there. Miss Bing Netherfield. You know, Mrs. Bennett trying to marry up all her daughters. Look, I think you could read this and understand and appreciate it without watching the videos. But I think the videos are amazing and I don't understand why anyone wouldn't want to watch it. So yeah, we'll definitely recommend this book. You should definitely go and read it. And you should definitely go watch the web series and you should definitely just fall in love. Fall in love. Because I did. I cried. But I cried and everything, so it's nothing new. So yeah guys, that is it for my review of this book. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe! Last week, guys, I made a video um, about Rwanda and the 40 Hour Famine, and that is happening right now. When this gets uploaded, I will be going without food at this very time. Um, so make sure, if you can, to get along and donate. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. It's a really big issue, but if we all pitch in just a little bit, we can make a really amazing difference. So I definitely recommend that you get along and just help out with that. Alright guys, I love you all and goodbye. Uh, can I open my window now? I have to close my window when I film because otherwise there's noise, but then it gets really hot in here. And even though it's winter! It's winter, Brisbane. It's like 26 degrees today. Beautiful. Whew.